you know, there is something about halfway marks that give us this sort of breath of fresh air and helps us um, keep our eye, our, our, our eye, is that what it is? Our eye on the prize, is that what it is? Uh, okay, so I am gonna talk about uh, the six months. The six months after I decided to like walk out of my job. And I do wanna talk about that fairly quickly. I'm not gonna give it a lot of energy, um, but I do wanna talk about it because, you know, I had worked with the container store for 25 years and I had worked towards this dream, this dream, right? Like I had this running joke of five more years, five more years, five more years, and I'll leave, five more years and I'll leave. And then I thought, well, heck, I've been here 15. I could do another 10 and get my lifetime discount. Completely forgot that there was a gift at 20. Like, you know, as, as a person who is a high achiever, but also a functioning slacker, you keep your eyes on these things that you want to achieve. And working 25 years at the container store was definitely one of them. Um, but I also had this romanticized idea of what my retirement would look like. Not gonna lie about that. Like, you know, we, you know, you've been there so long, you know all these people, they're like your family. And so you you are looking for a little bit of pump and circumstance. Like, it's not a small chunk of your life, it's a big chunk of your life. That was an idea. But um, you know what I like about Facebook? And I was telling this to someone uh, last month. I like how Facebook brings up, and I'm gonna say, oh shit. I'm, I like how they bring up like your memories and remember when this happened? I like how they do that. Because what it does is it does bring to light your frame of mind in a moment. And I was looking at the hashtags that I was adding to my post and I can see that in 2020, actually kind of like 2020, 2019, um, I started checking out. I was already emotionally not invested in what had been like a majority of my life because I started when I was 19. So I was already checking out, like I had hashtags that were counting down the days until I was like leaving, uh, which says a lot. It says a lot about where I was in this relationship and that I was just going through my own change. Um, if I can call it honestly, drag an ass on um, really getting into my, my own business because you know, humans love comfort. Uh, I knew this routine, it was a routine. I found myself getting to work, like I get to work early regardless because I had to get my mind right. But I was sit in the car and I was dreading going in. Like I wasn't, I wasn't there. Now keep this in mind, the work was always done. The fresh ideas were, were always still being produced. We will never slack on that, like the work will never suffer. But emotionally, um, I was not there. I was just biding my time. But I really did have in my head that I would do another 18 months. I would set up someone else to take over because, you know, I was in the mindset of you prepare your replacement before you walk away. That's, that's the culture I knew. Um, but let me get right to it real quick because I'm gonna give it all of Maybe I should time this down a minute, if not two. Um, what I don't appreciate is sometimes how we handle situations. That's what I don't appreciate. I don't appreciate when people um, want to literally drag up your first year of being a full-time employee, your very first uh, trip for the business and use that, take it back, attempt to use that as grounds for something that happened literally 20 something years later, possibly. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, I don't think it's professional. And I just sat, I sat in this conversation and I felt like I was in the twilight zone. I really, really did. Um, 
there is a way to talk to people and there is a definite way to get people to pack up their stuff and walk the fuck out. And the way that I was treated, I decided to walk the fuck out. And I'm gonna use those words and I will always use those words. So what I didn't anticipate was to go to work that day and then by two o'clock, one o'clock, 1.30 in the afternoon to be like, this is, this is the end of a great relationship. Uh, but everybody has their time and my time was done. My time there was done. I, like I said, I was halfway out and uh, in certain ways, I have to wonder if the good Lord pushes you to do what you have to do and say, you know what? You need to go ahead and move on because your time here is done. So six months later, six months later, what is Goldman's own? Man, a lot, a lot is going on. Um, the business is doing what I want it to do. Uh, I find myself getting into other areas of interest that I didn't have time for before. I find myself giving myself, my family, my relationships, more time and attention than I didn't give it before. And it, it sucks, right? That sometimes we have to go through things to get us there. Um, but having your own time, recognizing you have options and taking advantage of the atmosphere of entrepreneurship, authenticity, self-expression, oh my. It is something to behold that it is. So we are truly enjoying doing what we did before, but on a different scale. You know, I'm happy that I am able to work with other photographers, give them ideas, extend my platform, big or small, to other small businesses, be able to teach classes for other small business owners. I am like living life right now, and it feels so damn good. Keep this in mind now. Everybody ain't built for the small biz life. I'm gonna say that. Uh, I am blessed to have an amazing support circle of family and friends, a wonderful husband who has been there from day one that we met, right? But he's the one who's been saying, you need to get it together. Um, so I love that. But you know, every now and then, do I have a little hint of, nothing's going right. Ah. Every, you know, there's a voice that picked up somewhere that says, you should do and you ought to be, but this, this marathon that I am running, this is my race. And we are growing it the way that I want to grow it. I am absolutely loving the people that I'm meeting. It is quite rewarding. We are having so much fun. Not that I didn't have that before at the full-time job, because I gave it 25 years and eight months. And the people that are there, I love them dearly absolutely love them dearly yeah were there some not so great days well yeah because we're human and we still have so much more to grow um but the majority was beautiful and i will always love that always love that but we are on to some other things i cannot wait to see what the rest of the year brings this first year of being full-time in the business um uh, i'm still very giddy six months later uh and so it's uh it's one of those things now what am i unlearning <sighs> unlearning that you don't have to uh be available all the time uh unlearning that i make my own damn schedule <laughs> i can do what i need to do i can move things around uh you don't have to say yes to everything no, you don't have to say yes to everything. And my father always said this, but I'm gonna say for everybody else, I'm gonna end on this, all money ain't good money. So just because we're freelancers doesn't mean we have to take your business. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's see what the next six months will do for G.